That's what she said. Boudreaux died. Bull for sale. <laughs> 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 Good one. <laughs> Man, man, T, you good at that, man. If I was a duck, I'd be fooled. You know, we ought to sell them things. Yeah, right? I could make a fortune. Yeah, like, like them duck guys on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but where are you going to sell them? Oh, we could set up a stand right out there on the road. I got some boards left over from Gustav we could use. Mm-hmm. But don't you need to set up a business? File an application? Application? <laughs> what, to sell duck decoys? <laughs> You always have to file an application to start a new business. Basically, we require new businesses file an application so that we can determine whether that business will be beneficial to the community, not detrimental to their neighbors. If they come in the office, bring their photo ID, and they would complete the application. If they're getting a license, they would have to pay for the license as well at that time. From the time the application is filed with us, it'll take a week to 10 days. Once that's approved, it comes back to us, and then we go ahead and send the taxpayer the license and or the registration certificate. Before any new business starts, you should create a business plan. A business plan is as detailed as the business itself. And there's a lot of technical uh, advice that could be given by small business administration or an economic development group like we have here at Terrebonne Parish. The first thing someone should do is either get online to the Terrebonne Parish website or laota.com website. The applications, all the information, the forms are there or they can call our office and we can send it out either by fax, by email, or they can pick up the applications in our office. They fill out the application. Once it's completed, if they fall within a certain area in Terrebonne Parish, that would be the city of Homa or the Bayou Cane District, we would have to send the application to planning and zoning for approval. The main role for Parish Planning and Zoning Department and reviewing new business applications is to ensure that the location of the business is appropriate. Let's say we get a call from an individual who's interested in setting up a business. The first question is, do you have a location? If so, what's the street address? We can then look up to see if it's in a zoned area of the parish or not. Then we need to inform that individual, if you're doing new construction, here's what's required, here's the building permit checklist. But along with that, from a zoning standpoint, there are also certain setbacks that have to be met from the property lines. You have off-street parking requirements. There may be state approvals and licenses that are required. Certainly with any type of new construction, especially if it's commercial or industrial construction, it will require approval of the state fire marshal before you come in and apply for a parish building permit. We do have a commercial building permit checklist available on our website. GoBiz.com is a website that is sponsored by the Secretary of State's office. You can go online, you fill out the information, they will in turn send you a listing of all the different departments you have to contact. We can do all of this in what we call a pre-application conference. We sit down, we go over what their request is, and from there, they start going to the different agencies, start filling out applications. A certificate of occupancy is required by any commercial or industrial business in Terrebonne Parish. What that certificate of occupancy does is it verifies that that location is suitable to conduct that particular business. Then it's a little slow, T. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking it might be the sign Maybe it should say T. Claude and Bill's excellent decoy. Hey, I put up the wood, I painted the sign, I'm the one. I make the decoys. Yeah, but the thing is... Wait, oh, wait. Customer. Yeah. But look at that. It looks like he's writing a big old order. Yeah. All we got right now is these here decoys, but I could... Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got to make some. All right, all right. Let's see the business permit. It's not like that. We're just selling decoys. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he's writing up an order. No. Uh, this was Bill's idea. This what? here is Bill. Bill Trosclair. No. Hey. Do not operate a business without a license. 
you will be fined. If we find out that you're in business and have been in business for some time, we can go back as far as three years to collect the licenses and we can also assess you for any uncollected sales taxes. At that time, you would be charged penalties and interest rate charges. All the monies that we collect, sales tax monies, hotel, motel monies, as well as occupational license monies, it, it's for the operations of our parish. Personal services is another popular type of business that we see. By that, I'm talking about everything from an attorney or an accountant to nail salons. Some personal services are permissible in residential districts, but you may need to get additional approvals from either the Planning Commission or the Home Board of Adjustment. Many people think because they have a lawn service business, different little type businesses running out of their house, they're not required to get a license, they're not required to collect sales taxes. You could possibly be in business and you should get a license. It may not be a sales taxable business. It may be a service business. You may be a subcontractor. You may lay bricks. You may cut grass. You may frame up a house. It's a business. A couple of examples of those that do not need a license would be nonprofit organizations, blind persons, disabled persons. If you want to have a home occupation, and you live in a residential zone district, you need to receive home occupation approval from the Planning Commission. Now you can't really stop a man from selling his wares in his own house, right? And you see all them cars lined up just waiting to get in here? They must have seen a commercial on Channel 11 last night. I told you, our first customer's coming. You again. I was about to say the same thing. Look, you got a line of cars holding up traffic out there. If you'd just taken the time to set up your business, you could've... Ah, oh, could use one of these for honey. These are really nice. How much? We'll be glad to sell you one once we set up the business. And pay off all those fines. <laughs>